welcome to Olympic Dam. Olympic Dam is a world-class asset. Not only is it the largest underground mine in Australia, it has a massive ore body attached to it. it contains much of the world's known uranium resource. And Olympic Dam is the fourth largest copper deposit in the world. We've been mining this for 20 years with a great team of people. People are our greatest strength. Globally, BHP Billiton is committed to all of the communities in which it operates and Roxview Downs is no different. Uh, we have a number of different programs to help the community work out what it wants, work with them meaningfully on community development projects um, and support them to get their needs met. Roxby Downs has been here for 20 years um, and it was built parallel with the operation. Well, we're, we're basically on the site. The dam behind us was originally called the Olympic Dam. Um, that was named back in the station days before they come here, so therefore they just continued on with the name of Olympic Dam and um, it relates back to the 56 Olympics as well. After the survey, um, Western Mining were very confident they'd um, find some pay dirt here, so they had a budget of 10 holes. And on the last hole, with the hard efforts of a, a gentleman called Ted Weenan, they were lucky enough to, on that last hole, the 10th hole, was to find um, pay dirt. I'd say never, never in their wildest dream they would think that it would get to where it is at the moment and to where it may be heading in the next five or six years as well. No, they wouldn't have dreamt of it, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, the mine lease is a small part of the land that we own. We own four pastoral leases surrounding the special mining lease, which surrounds Olympic Dam. We've got Roxby Downs, Purple Downs and Andamooka, and Stewart Creek to the north. It comprises about 11,500 square k's. We currently run very low stock numbers. We're also spelling a lot of our pastoral properties that have been heavily stocked in the past, and we're trying to encourage improvements in land conditions. Yeah, we have a pretty good sustainability policy. Obviously, arid recovery to the north is currently situated on our pastoral leases that we are a big supporter of. 